guys. Another episode of the Big Friday Podcast, where your program is always what, Evan? A recommendation. A recommendation. A suggestion. Nothing it's more. like, yeah, it's like an auto-regulation guide. So if you would like to max out, because today is the holiest of days, check your calendar. Google Calendar. It'll say, nationally recognized holiday, Big Friday. Thanks, Biden administration, for giving us the holiday that we autistic weightlifters deserve, the Honestly. Big Friday. <laughs> and if, you, if your employer is not giving you Big Friday off every week, you need to find a different one. Exactly. Be part exactly. of the great resignation. You love your job, but you don't get Big Friday off? Do you actually love your job? Not at all. No. There's not a reason that. why Chick-fil-A is closed on Sunday. They're honoring their holy day. Your employer should be honoring your holy day. And if they're not, they're Big Friday phobic. Damn. So hashtag Big Friday phobic. Make that make that go viral, especially if you've got, you know, honestly, especially if you work for like a small business, like crush that small business by speaking out against the thing. The thing that we hate at the Big Friday podcast is anything that's not a massive corporation. We hate small business so if you work for we one do not they don't let you take business. big friday off go work at walmart they might give you big friday off you might just be able to take <laughs> off and they won't even know they're like oh where's that where's that guy that never stops talking about like bars and like snatches and stuff i don't know he's probably in the back stays in the like, exercise smoking, equipment session section smoking a doob or something it's <laughs> walking uh, up the yeah. treadmill <laughs> Very easily get away with that at a bigger corporation. There's our life advice, training advice, all rolled into one. Uh, we have had a bit of a hiatus. Uh, Evan, why why did we take a break? Make up something of why we took a break. And then while you're trying to make something up, I can do the same. And I can say, actually, the reason why we took off is because of the thing that I just made up. So go. I mean, I think the reason that we took off is because Nino hurt his hamstring a few months back and wasn't able to compete at world morning and it was we were morning yeah carlos came in and just missed his net he bombed out set a world record bombed out hit a few more brs in the training hall and we were just morning you know he did the most carlos thing that he possibly could he absolutely did he <laughs> did the he did the i'm doping and i don't want to get popped in the a session so i'm gonna bomb out on the platform max out in the back room warming up snatch what you can and sometimes what you can is nothing <laughs> Clean and drink what you must <laughs> what you what you must and when you want that world record when ten thousand ruples is on the line i don't know what the international it a, currency it was a serious d sponsorship yes yes that's what they were that's what they were after uh i kind of i i kind of like that i think nino is he's so handsome he's so handsome and when anything bad happens to him he doesn't deserve that so we can go with that. We were in mourning. That works. But he's back now. He's back. He's competing at Europeans. Speaking of someone who's back and better than ever, like shockingly better than ever, can we talk about the dingus himself? The I'm going to pull up the video so that I can share it. Um, but can we, who posted this? Number one, lay down some context for the people of what I'm talking about with the dingus. Dingus. While I Bringus the dingus. He posted it. It's on his Instagram. He, uh, Bringus the dingus, Josh Bringus. He was, gosh, I don't even know. He's 30 something, I think, but. Hey, whoa, few, whoa, what's wrong with being 30 something? <laughs> just context, context here. Ah, he. Okay. You know, training age, everything like that. He has been weightlifting for, I don't know, like six, seven years maybe at this point. So he's so he's pretty much brand new. You would expect huge noob gains at this point. Honestly, honestly, like you would, this is one of those things you sleep 10 hours instead of eight and you're putting 10 <laughs> kilos on your snatch. Um, but he, last year or two years ago, somewhere along those lines, got popped at a USAW event, hitting like a 270 total barely scratching by which is not a bad thing we don't no. condemn that getting we honestly think that getting popped is pretty cool it's it's the rite of passage <laughs> as a weightlifter there's some that are diagnoses and there's some that are failed drug tests this one falls in the latter category <laughs> but um so he hits that he goes off the grid for months says he goes to romania to train with george sincrarian and 
he comes back and all of a sudden posts this 170 snatch to Instagram, which is his best when he got popped was like 120. So he put 50 kilos on his snatch, he's saying, in a year. And yeah, what's 50 kilos between friends? 115 pounds. <laughs> <laughs> All right, here's our man in question. Very nice amount of followers or following. I like this. My, is my screen sharing? Did I say George Sinkarian? Okay. Gabriel. What's it? Gabriel. Gabriel. <laughs> Gabriel, George, it's basically the same thing. Gene. Same exact thing. One is Romanian, one is American. All right, so he follows 669 people. Nice. Nice. <laughs> but if we look over here, 333, three, three, the sign of the devil. It's half of it. Yeah, so this post was his 333rd, sign of the devil. We just Do we believe in coincidences? Do if we do we believe in coincidences? <laughs> do we? Is this intentional? Oh my god, look at the number of comments on this post. <laughs> okay, Josh, you get the pass. We're we're moving, <laughs> we're moving on. on. <laughs> the housekeeping section is over. We're moving on to something else. How many views does it have? Watch. It's gonna have like 69, 69. Oh no, 334, 333. Oh gosh, that's all upsetting. Right, all, right, all right, all right, all right. Here's the video. Either way. All right. Coach ZT doesn't believe it. Looks what like Brittany also is skeptical. Seb. 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 <laughs> How Seb. much you weigh in, big guy? <laughs> <laughs> I can't tell. So I've seen He's like, Seb. It's like Bringus is one of his old friends and he hasn't seen him for a while. He's like, you're looking big, squeezing the bicep. I've seen right? Seb comment on a couple of posts of this and like Seb is like Seb. I think Seb believes that this is legit. Seb is like the nicest person ever. He's like, hey, let's give him the benefit of the doubt. Hey, f oh, I don't know why Seb is Italian. Uh, <laughs> Mamma mia. Over to... <laughs> Mamma mia, give him a chance. What's your take uh, on it, though? Um, I don't know. I think I, 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 I believe him. But if, you know, believe all women is a thing, believe all weightlifters should also be a thing, until proven otherwise... This is 170. Just kidding. There's a fucking chance this is 170. Look at this. Look, just watch it. Watch this. Okay. Secures it overhead. So easy. So easy. It's a breeze. It's a breeze. And then watch this Grammy nominated level of effort to make it look like it's hard standing up. Oh, God. I don't know if I can stabilize it. A nice tempo over. Notice the, how he's off balance coming up. He comes past, like, he comes out of the hole. He's halfway up. He comes on his toes. If that's 170, you're getting taken for a ride. Yeah, you're coming forward. You're coming forward. I want to see the girl behind. She's just like, yay. <laughs> yeah, all right. So let's, let's just use the girl behind as reference. The girl behind is... Is this at an exclusive weightlifting gym? This is just at like a Looks weightlifting like gym, right? I mean, how yeah. many so like the, commercial gyms do you see that have a strip of a platform, stall exactly. mats, and barbells so on the wall? This, this girl in the back, she's in the know. She knows weightlifting, right? She's probably a like a pretty experienced weightlifter. For someone who is a pretty experienced weightlifter, wa just watch her reaction. This is not the reaction of someone who just watched someone snatch a world record. Not at all. Unless this you woman are like is brand like new day one, and it's job. a routine. This is like a commercial gym reaction. Like when you see someone snatch for the first time, it's almost like, oh, like cool. That looked that looked nifty. You'd honestly that, get more at a commercial gym than you got than that. That girl's face should be like, what the fuck did I even just watch? What just happened? And why that is he dude, not slamming that bar through the earth if he hit that? Yeah. All right. <clears throat> Second piece. Can we? Can I? How do I zoom on this thing? Why Why is it only zooming into the comments? <laughs> <laughs> Can I not zoom in on the video? Okay, Jake, hit us with a zoom feature real quick. And I want you to zoom in on this second plate right here. This second red plate that is conveniently a little bit thinner and a little bit of a different color. 
than the others. I think the theory from other now obviously plates wear, the colors change with time. I think the theory that a lot of people I've seen are like, why does that other red plate look a little bit different? And or the red bumper look a little bit different. It's like, okay, could be a two and a half, could be a two and a half uh training plate, right? Or training bumper, right? It could be. If yeah. if this is a two and a half what is that? What weight does that make it? 125? Makes it 120. Which, 20? with how no, he snatched... He has competition collar. He has competition collars on. Yeah, 110, 115, 2.5, 2.5, 120. No, it should be 125, right? No. What? Why? The, the red, blue, 110. 110. The 2.5s would make it... Oh, okay. Gotcha. Yep. All right. Same page. 120. Hey, this is a good 120 snatch. It's a PR match. <laughs> Josh, Josh, just take the PR match. You could have been like, yo, this is a PR match. Does he have a video of his AO miss? Oh, gosh, I don't know. Oh, here he is. Here we go. How long ago is this? Oh, what is this? What did I just sign up for? Here we go. A little 90 kilo backroom snatch. Let's go. What is this? Like a true 170 snatcher. There we go. Uh, one ten. How long ago is this? August twenty twenty two. So yeah, this was this was nationals last year. Yeah. All right. Uh, hold on. There's because there's something I want to highlight here. It's the main. It's the. Here we go. Very nice. Nice one twenty there. PR match. Uh, hold on. I want to get to the clean and jerk because there's maybe he just used it as. The main, there it is, 157. Yep. Third attempt, 157, clean and jerk. Eight months later. Eight months ago. <laughs> <laughs> Snatching eight, 13 eight kilos months later, more. 13 kilos more. I'm going to snatch it. It's going to be easy. And you know, as ridiculous as it is, and as obviously fake as it is, I hope that it comes back and is real. Because that would just be incredible to see. And then do some sort of, you know, I mean, like, what is he blasting at that point? How much? No, no. That's <laughs> not even, I've seen, I've seen that argument from people of like, what drugs would he have to be taking to do this? It's like the limit doesn't exist. He's taking something compare new. It, <laughs> yeah, compare it to Lou's comeback. Like Lou was snatching, you know, seventy kilos at the beginning. It didn't look super easy. Eight months later, he was like, you know. 130, 135. It wasn't like I'm back. 170. No, one of and the that's greatest someone of who all has time. been. Yeah, someone who's been there before. You take someone like Ilya. It's like this guy's comeback, and Ilya, Ilya's comeback and Lou's comeback both were like very blatantly drug enhanced. Like there's like you think Ilya was like you know I, I've. Changed my ways. It's just creatine and paleo. Are you me. talking 2014, 2015, Ilya? Or are you talking like these past few no, years like when he's the been more like recent. weightlifting? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. The more recent comeback. I don't know. Like the... Yeah. Okay. I'm going to pause what I'm saying because, yes, I agree with you <laughs> now that I think about it. And it's like the, the, the limit of drugs doesn't exist. This guy yeah. would have had to have some sort of latent ability. Like hiding deep inside of him was this ability to snatch 170. And if you're missing 120s, eh, 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 you ain't got it, dog. After Unless. seven, eight years, if you're missing 120, there's not like this dog. The dog inside of you ain't there. There's <laughs> dog two has wolves and white furs on its chin, and he's like, there's two wolves about. inside of you, and neither of them snatch 170. <laughs> Bringus. <laughs> Mr. Dingus. Unless, unless he starts doing the Bergner warm up daily. Ooh, you're not wrong. Some you're people not are wrong. considering. I think the big thing for me with that video is like him coming off balance, standing up. The fact that his elbows do not hyperextend at all with that amount of weight over his head. And then also just when Hold the on. No, keep going. Just kidding. And then also I'm like it back up. you look back when she hit, Xi Jiang hit some, one of his best snatches ever, like 169, I think it is. And you look at how the bar bends after it drops, not the height of the bar bouncing, whatever. It's on stall mats, not wood, but the bar doesn't bend really. 
at all when it drops. It doesn't have like a little wiggle to it. It just far don't lie. Far don't lie. <laughs> <laughs> um, I want to highlight one last thing here on this. Watch when he catches it. pretty obvious press out there in the elbows so josh you can't really claim world 50 record kilos press- on the snatch how many yeah. kilos on the strict press you pressed it out like let's not i mean 170 okay i'm done but like you pressed it out so let's let's see you hit 170 and not press it out and then i'm gonna reserve my my being impressed for that so let's stick to the rules the snatch grip press let's Let's keep weightlifting, you know, let's, let's, let's keep the sanctity of weightlifting alive. Let's not press out our lifts and then claim world records. That's like, come on, come on. Who, who does that? Uh, another video that I wanted to take a look at. Let me stop sharing my screen real quick. Uh, so obviously coach, the biggest, like, you know, influencer kind of thing that, uh, that spread the word on this one was, you know, Coach ZT, our boy Zach Kelly, and Goob. Strange partnership there, but very interesting to see Goob do a weightlifting video. Yeah, I think I think Goob got over on the powerlifting side and was like, "Whoa, these powerlifting guys, they do some weird shit." Uh, God, he's got a <laughs> he's got a rabbit hole to go down. He gets into weightlifting content. Yeah, I was gonna say. I don't know if you're gonna like what you find on the weightlifting <laughs> side, uh, but you know, we'll tag you in this so you know to watch this. Go down. What's what's his name? Colin Burns. Oh my gosh! Yeah, Colin go, Burns. Go gets down the covered Colin up by Burns. A now IWF Hall of Famer or you saw Hall of Famer who got inducted at nationals last year? Yeah. Yeah. Go down the Colin Burns rabbit hole. Um, and you'll find some some juicy weightlifting stuff. That's what we've uh, got to do. Goob was on the Gifted Performance podcast like two, three times. We've got to set him off on you saw stuff, and then just give him like two weeks, and then come in and just yeah, let him go. Dude. If you think if you think USAPL is bad, if you think the NPC and the IFBB are bad, the IFBB like when someone dies, they like post about it, and they're like. George Peterson died of, you know, complications. And we're sorry to see that. You saw just like completely glazes over it. They post about like their new partnership with Ascent Protein <laughs> on the day that like... Strawberry one of their Protein most, pre-workout. <laughs> yeah. One of their most like decorated lifters commits like sexual assault. And like new flavor of Ascent pre-workout. Strawberry lemonade. F-A-P-S. That Ascent pre-workout also tastes like ass cheeks they put um all right casein in but what i was sharing here was this i have things to say about this number one oh Goob this <laughs> Gosh, is saying this. <laughs> look at this look at this in the caption 225 pound cleans you want to talk about someone who's a fraud this is very obviously 100 kilos yeah that's that's mm. not 225 <laughs> that's John. 220 John, you you want to talk about like holding yourself accountable and whatnot? Fix the caption. This isn't a two twenty five. Oh my clean. gosh, we just two twenty. We yeah. got to expose <laughs> him. <laughs> Exposed. All right, but I want you to do a technique review for John on this clean right here. Clean off blocks. Okay. He's got a good block height. He's got a high quality equipment. Looks like a training bar. It's gonna have a bushing, not a bearing. Who the fuck is this Rithgar guy? CrossFit form 10 out of 10. Holy, Holy form, form, you don't, you don't want, want to hear, hear it. it. Let's look Rift at him. Car. Let's go away from this video. <laughs> let's, let's, <laughs> let's check out that. Divert. It's going to be private. Oh, it's going to be private. private. Of course Richie. He's a husband. Probably not a very good one. Iron Musician, enthusiast and probably general worst. goofball weeb. Average sad boy bloke. He chops wood and carries water. Interesting. Interesting. What he needs to do. Oh, shit, post account if I've ever seen one. <laughs> <laughs> All right, back to the back to the back to goob. Back to goob. Back to the task at hand here. Rithgar, you narrowly. God damn it! Now I lost. Now I gotta scroll through this man's page. Look at all this pedophile shit that he exposes in the USAPL. USAPL, clean your shit up. The domestic abuse no, too. No, no, no. It wasn't USAPL. Sorry, I'm. I'm I'm USPA, talking shit USPA. On the wrong people. USPA, USPA, USPA. Oh, yeah, I scroll, past, scroll it. past it. Where is it? Tic Tacs. 
Oh, it's above the tic tacs. <laughs> <laughs> All right, here we go. I don't hey, think look he at looks, this. He like monkey. The man it, right? can't decide if he wants to suicide <laughs> grip or full grip the bar. Suicide? We're going suicide. Okay. He suicides. Save the wrists. All right. How's how's his contact point right here? I think we're at power position right here. Power position right there. This man, his contact point is non-existent. But yeah, it doesn't need it. He doesn't. But look, he's nice and over the bar. He's got a soft bend in the knee. His yep. weight seems pretty balanced. Bar is over yep. the middle of his foot. He's got uh -huh. he's got a good bar path going. Yeah. <clears throat> contact. But, mm -hmm. but when the arm when the arm bends, power ends. But if you could ends. go frame by frame, I'm sure at one point there, those arms are straight. At, at one point, I'm sure they are. Yeah. And also, it looks, you can kind of, you can't really tell because it's blurry here. Also, this gym that he trains at looks really cool. Um, it's on like the fifth floor of a building, though. But it looks like he's got a smile on his face. And that's one of the big parts about weightlifting is enjoying your time. Yeah, having some fun. All right. All right. <laughs> 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 There's, so you see where his knees are now. His knees and hips. <laughs> that, if he was to bring his chest a little further forward, is where you want to be for a power position. <laughs> I'm sorry, John. I'm sorry. <laughs> this turnover here leaves a little bit to be desired. Looks like he's got stuff in his pockets, too. He's <laughs> got his phone and his keys. He's getting ready to head his out. Phone, phone and his keys. He's just hitting a quick clean. Phone keys he wallet. Goes. <laughs> Secures. Oh, there we go. Oh, All right. okay. Elbows into coming the, front of the bar. The press. It was a little tight, but that would have been that wouldn't have counted. Didn't get his head through. It's like a pretty good. That's a really good strict press. Though. It's a very good. A one hundred kilo press. strict press like that is very very good. It's a very good strict press for somebody that right, deadlifts go. a barbell up, rolls it back to their chest, and hits a set of eight. At Another rep. Field. This rep. This rep. If you'll notice, he's going suicide grip. So he's changing his grip in between reps. A little bit of muscle confusion there. That's right. I like that. We like to see that. Extension. A, 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 A. Is what we want to A. see. He cleans A. it up this second is, rep. Yeah, that first rep, warm up. Second rep, that's the real shit. It's your classic like, under pull, over pull. John, this is great. This is actually, unironically, very, very good. Triple extension, vertical, chest up, shoulders back, bar is close. Now let's see the turnover, though. <laughs> <laughs> Because I think it's the safety up. <laughs> it's 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 a it's about as bad as the first one. This man's uh, about to do an incline bench press rep. He might. He might. He's gonna sissy squat the, down. The, John, this is where it needs to be cleaned up because the triple extension was great. If we can, if we're gonna say, we're gonna say, what kind of bar is this? Looks like a like a rogue. Looks, looks like, like an a Ohio rogue bar. like training bar. Yeah. That's definitely an Ohio bar. Powerlifting bar. They don't spin. If the bar had spun, we'd be doing better. He's going to go into the strict press again. No, oh, just a clean. He's going to fall I back a little bit. <clears throat> is that a third rep? So that complex right there was clean plus strict press plus clean plus clean plus half rep strict press. <laughs> plus it's strict dip. <laughs> Plus jerk dip. There it is. There it is. Plus jerk dip. That's, I mean, that's kind of, it has a lot of good stuff in there. Very in the know. John, I love you. That was great. That was fantastic. Thanks for joining the show. You today. see, what's the use case for a complex like that? Clean strict press, uh, clean, clean jerk dip. What yeah, are you looking to highlight there? What are you isolating? So I think that is for someone who like doesn't really know how to shove their knees and their gut forward in the catch position. Of course. So you really want to emphasize in that power clean that the knees and even the heels are as far over the toes as possible. The back has at least, you know, 40 to 60 degrees of like a, a nice curve in it. It's fair. And... We want to focus on slow elbow. A lot of people they move their elbows in the turnover too fast, and no they control. don't. Yeah, they don't get like the delt hypertrophy stimulus that you want in a nice slow turnover. Time under tension, as they say. So if you're working on any of those things, this is going to be a better complex 
for you. Also works well if you train at a gym that's on the fifth floor of like an apartment complex. And you cannot like drop it's, the weights. It's the apart it's the apartment complex complex. <laughs> what, I mean, what do you what do you see in a in a complex like that? What are you looking for your athletes to get out of that? You know, that's a trade secret right there. Okay. People right. are gonna have to sign up for coaching if they want to learn about that one. Yeah. I think an, an unspoken one there is that like they really allows it to be as hard on your wrists as possible. People in weightlifting often complain about, you know, how their wrists hurt. And that's just because you haven't been working that complex right there. Sign yeah, this up. lower back, knees, SEB yeah. principle, yeah. baby. Yep. Yep. The SEB principle. SEB. <laughs> what's your way in? <laughs> <laughs> what SEB, what's you weigh in? What's you weigh in, dog? How about you don't? How about you don't fat shame our boy Bringus? He was getting just a juicy shame. pump at Europeans the other day on someone's platform. I saw that. I saw that he was doing it with uh, that was seventy kilos, right? The two point five that equals yeah, yeah. twenty five kilos. It was it was um it was powerlifting twenty fives. Yeah, thin. Yeah, that that honestly yeah. might be what Bringus was doing. He might have snatched more than one seventy, and he's just calling it one seventy. Two little yeah. metal calibrated plates could be in there he could have snatched so 220 he's so humble that guy has he made any everything. public statement whatsoever no he's been a ghost the, fir <laughs> so the first thing the first thing that i did is i looked at the date that he was posted and it was like april 5th and i was like ah you missed it by four days if you had been four days earlier this is a good post it's funny it's up there with like the alico heavy mug which they are now giving away <laughs> Now they're giving away. I think they should start selling it. Honestly, it's like not a bad product. How much does it weigh? I haven't. They haven't said. Aliko, you waffle making Swedish bitches, send us a heavy mug. But that post has one. so many comments now for people entering I, that competition. I know. <clears throat> Mine are a hundred of them. <laughs> Just people tickling the algorithm for them. They That's love it. that. That's All it. Right. I put a clearance sale Into up right our after that. next segment today. We got to move through this one relatively quick. We had too much fun with Bringus the Dingus, but can you blame us? Can you blame us? <laughs> Our next segment today is something that I dreamed up. I was up late doing Lord knows what kind of activities. And this one came to me. I was watching, I was watching Seb and Max. I was watching the live stream of, I think it was like Worlds or something, maybe. Maybe that was what I was watching. Yeah, it was because you were watching like an old world session. You were watching like an A session. You're like, wow. Or the B session. You're watching the super yeah. session. Yeah. I texted Evan and I was like, yo, why does every super look like they're 49 years old, but they're actually 19? <laughs> and then I was like, wow, that's a pretty good. We should do that on the show. So today, what we're going to do is we're going to take a look at some supers, the top 15s from that session, but the top 15 lifters from that session. And we're going to try and guess their age. How confident are you, Evan, in this? I think my mouse is dying. In terms of getting it perfectly right, not at all. In terms <laughs> of being ballpark th two, plus minus two, three years, I think pretty confident. Okay. All right. I'm going to say 25 for every single one. <laughs> <laughs> Puts you right there. Plus minus two or three years, right? Um, all right. Jake, as we go through this, I need you to put on the screen a live <laughs> tally. Evan's score, Ryan's score. And it's going to be closest gets the point. Because if we make it where we actually have to guess how old they are... I don't think either of us are going to get any right. This guy, you might know him. You may have heard of him. The strongest man to ever walk the earth. The guy who could eat your favorite power lifters lunch money. Eat their lunch money. That's correct. You heard that. Any day of the week. And Mr. the Watcher. only guy who can rock the orange and blue ROM twos. Why he chose yeah. that, what that size colorway. What shoe do you think he wears? <laughs> I feel like he's probably wearing like a very modest 11 or 12. Oh, I was going to say a very modest, like, 19. He's the one on eBay that people are selling those size 17 shoes for. She's, like, constantly scrolling eBay. A lot of some fun facts about Lasha before we start. A lot of people don't know that uh, Lasha was actually born in Atlanta. He is from both uh, Georgia, the state, and then he transferred his citizenship to Georgia, the country. 
A lot of people don't know that about him, but he's an Atlanta native. Just like if you were him. born from Georgia, you are a citizen of Georgia. It holds true. Yeah, yeah. They uh, the dogs. They tried to recruit him. He thought he would no. be a really good uh, left tackle. He said, "How he can said, I be a part of the dogs if I am that dog?" And yeah, if I got that dog, maybe you guys should come to me and I can <laughs> give you that dog. All right, enough enough banter. <laughs> How old is Lasha? Um. I remember a few years back or a few months back, back when he hit his heaviest total ever, you and I were texting about it saying like, damn, it'll be crazy if he's still around, come to- come Paris, come Tokyo after that. So he's coming close to the end of his weightlifting career, probably. Damn, what, he's 30? 30? 30? I think Lasha is... I'm going to undercut you by one. I'm going to go with 29. Lasha is tw- currently 29. What does that say? He was born in 93. How 93. old does that make him? That makes him 30. Well, 29, 30, October 2nd. Yes! Damn it. I'm right. Okay, you got one. Yeah. All right, all right, all right. All right. Get that live tally going, Jake. One. <laughs> For Ryan. We're going to have to come down to minutes and seconds of the day. <laughs> yes. Just know that I, I knew that. I That was very... This is also very old. Has his best at 215, 251. Oh, no. Those are the lifts that he made. Weighed in at a nice, skinny, svelte 166 and a half. 215. <laughs> <laughs> oh, boy. What a picture. What a picture. I'm surprised he's in the middle of the platform right here and not closer to the back. Normally he starts further back. Yeah. Well he just we, he already he's already taken six steps forward <laughs> in his catch position. From extension to securing the bar overhead, he took four steps That's forward. That's it. It's a it's a pull and then it's a run to get under it. It's <laughs> <laughs> and then it's a run to stand it up. <laughs> the man has watched too many John North videos. He's done the catapult drill way too many times. Obviously not. He's not doing it right. Yeah, well, you could argue there's no way to do that, right? Hit and under. That's all you need to think. Hear that bar rap. All right. Gore. <laughs> Manassian. I know he's younger than Lasha because I remember someone telling me that and I laughed. So I know that. I'll go first this time. <laughs> Gore Manassian is 27. Someone told you that and you laughed. He looks, he honestly looks like, you're right. He looks like he's like 45 with the chest hair, with the demeanor of just a stressed businessman. Yeah, he's someone's like Facebook dad. Like someone posts a picture. is like, oh, Father's Day. I love my dad so much. And, and it's this is the picture and you're like, Yeah, that guy's 47. I get it. I get it. He's seen some shit. <laughs> um, you said what, 27? I did. I feel like we're going to be undercutting each other by like one here every time. You going 26? I'm going to go 26. All right. Ooh, born in 94. That makes him 28. Who's closest? 29. 28, 29 later this year. Also in October. 29 later this year. Wow. All the best. Born in October. But that makes you again. Damn it. Yes. What is BRN? Bahrain. Oh yeah, he lifts to Bahrain now. Yeah, okay. he got traded. <laughs> <laughs> he got free sold. Agent there. Citizenship was sold. Just trades. <laughs> <laughs> I know this one. Uh, Baz that Lalian. Mister Lalian. How? He looks like he's a, he looks like he's the guy who's posting the Father's Day picture, saying you'll <laughs> love my dad and it's cool. Love my dad. <laughs> and Gore is the picture. He, I know, is a young buck. He's what, like 20, he's like 20, 23? 23. Uh, I'm going to go with 22. 99. That makes him 23, 24 in a few weeks. Yes. <clears throat> All right. You got one. You got one there. Look at that arm. Both him and so hold your hand up on the screen and only look at Gore's face 
<laughs> and then only look at his at at, at Lalian's face. They, they, they look, look like very they're young like... in the face. They look like kind of young face, kind of. You think Gore you looks see, young in the face? Like a li- I don't know. Gore Gore is like I don't know. He's Gore is my sleep paralysis demon. That's me. <laughs> this is a picture right here. <laughs> that's what I see. Comes out of the closet just <sighs> when I can't move and I'm awake. I'm stuck in my dream and Gore is just diddling me. That's how young. That's how Lollians are made. Lolly and I will agree looks young in the face. I think he looks Gore very young looks in the face. Gore looks old in the face and torso and every yeah. his extremities look young yeah lolian is like uh like you strapped a like a young young buck's face on like a bowling ball michelin man creature but oh my gosh when both of them were here in vegas last year for now, <laughs> the yeah the randomly mentioned friendship cup that nobody knew about <laughs> until after the fact their hands man their hands and they're they're all they're both like five eight so yes. they are small for how much they weigh, but their That's... hands, they have mitts. The fact that they can wrap them around the bar is impressive in, in and of itself. Yeah. Do they, yeah, neither of them hold, it looks like neither of them hold their hook. No. Through... <coughs> Makes sense. Does any super other than Lasha? All right. Yo, his shoes. Are those the ones that Matty Rogers is mad about? No, those are ROM 3. Who the hell lifts in Romano 3s? Those are limited edition ROM 3s. Does Matty Rogers think her grifting is going to get her anything? Does Does Matty Rogers know who Nike is and how little they give a shit? Does Nike know who Matty Rogers is? That's the question. It's, they don't care. They don't fucking care. They don't care at all. They, they literally kill people in sweatshops. Maybe this care. is Nike's move to get themselves themselves out of the weightlifting game. Oh, God. Whatever. They're trying to tarnish their reputation with America's weightlifting sweetheart for the past almost <laughs> 10, 10, 11 years at this point. Spare me. Please spare me. <laughs> All right. Who is this fella? Is this Ali Davuti? No, isn't this El Sa- No, it is. It is. Yeah, this is Davuti. Davuti. Look at that shin. That's a power chin. People talk about the power belly. Oh, no, the, the shin. power belly. That nice little scrape he has on his shin. Oh, I thought you said the power chin. That if is you, a power chin, though. If, yeah, if you if you avert your eyes north, you'll see what we call <laughs> the power chin as well. That hyperextension. What? That's very Muhammad Ehab-esque. Throw it back. He just needs to look up. Get rid of that chin, right. and he is... How old is Davuti? Davuti is the one that I think I was like, wait. I think Davuti is the one... That sparked this whole thought in my head where I was like, what the fuck? <laughs> These people are how old? <clears throat> what is he, I'm like, going to say... Oh, it's your turn to go first. So I don't think he would be 19 because then he would be setting junior world records. And the last time I watched him, I don't think that Seb or Max were talking about junior world records for him. I don't think. It's also just kind of wild that anyone can be a junior and weigh 109 plus. <laughs> uh, I'm going to say he's 23. I'm going to go 20. Because I feel 20? like I f- he looks, he has that elderly look coming on, but that comes 23, 24, 25. With <laughs> Does he look like a man who hasn't had his first beer yet? I think so. But okay. first beer in the U.S. versus first beer everywhere else. <laughs> oh, that's true. Yeah. What's the drinking age in whatever country he's from? Seem like Iran or something. Um, yeah, I'm going to go 20. The drinking, is the drinking age in Iran? I, I'm not going to even. I don't want to get Google into the really politics quickly. of drinking in other countries. All right. Our, Ali Davuti, born in 99. You can drink whenever in Iran. Okay. Whenever the hell you feel like it. 99. 99 makes him... 20, 24. 24. What did you say? I said 20. Oh, yes. What's the I score? I smoked. It's like 3 to 1. 3 to 1. Keep tallying it up. Your boy's on fire. Get this man some carbs and he just goes off after fast and conditioning. This, is this Assad? Is it? I. Man? I'm going to use my notes. I promise I'm not cheating. Man Assad. 
It might be. I think it is. Look I think it is. All right, let's guess age first, and then we'll do name after. Look at that the, bar, Ben. This is a great picture. This is a great picture. Man, it's like... That is actually... It, this is a pretty incredible weightlifting picture. You would um, think this guy just finished up, like, quarterfinals workout four, the way he is schwitzen. <laughs> you wouldn't think that this is, like, his fifth one rep max of the day. <laughs> this is... Yeah. <laughs> He's only had two sandwiches in the back. He's been crushing Gatorades. Um, what? He doesn't have... This is a tough one because... <clears throat> I think I see some gray hairs in the beard, but that could just be, you know... It could also just be the Spitz. <laughs> <laughs> could be the Spitz. Could be chalk. Could be 10 years of weightlifting weighing heavy on you. He has good muscle tone. He has a little bit. He has a very well-defined beard. He has the hair that's thinning. 26. 26? I'm going to go with... I'm going to make this guy young just so that if I'm right, I can gloat. I'm going to say he's 23. Ah, oh, you definitely got that one. Oh, yeah. He he's, is he turns 30 this year. 29. The big 32. 30. The dirty 30 for Mon Asad. Enjoy it, man. Enjoy it. <laughs> Mr. Asad. How do they celebrate 30th birthdays in Syria? Comment below with what you think <laughs> they do. Don't get yourself they banned from YouTube. First beer. <laughs> what is this picture? Jake, Jake, I know that this was probably the best that you could find, but who is this? Are those Vela... Oh my gosh. No way he wears Velasas. No, if those were Velasas, they would be exploding. The heel would be backwards. Are those, those legacy is. lifters? I love how that's where my, <laughs> face, my mind goes first. It's not, wow, look at that beautiful split. It's, what are those shoes? <laughs> the, the split is nice. It's a very nice I, split. Uh... <clears throat> very good lockout, too. All right, I'm going to let you guess first. I guess first again? Okay. Yeah. Twenty-eight. No 28? further questions. Uh, yeah, without knowing who this is, because the picture quality is not the best. Uh, let's see what he got on the bar. He's got quite a bit there. That's that's a hefty. Uh, what'd you guess? Twenty-eight. I'm gonna run with. I'm just gonna keep guessing young ages, just so that I can keep the bit alive of these people being younger than expected. I'm gonna say twenty-four. I still think that any age. Oh, it's oh Elsa. My goodness. 89. You're the He's oldest 34. man alive. Jesus Christ, dude. Pack it in. He's tried to. He's going to hit 35. He's going to compete once and set all time world records that will never be broken by another 35 year old. All right. So that's another one for you. What is it? Three to three now? Three to three. Uh, you're <clears throat> narrowing the gap. <laughs> uh. <laughs> Who do we. Who do we even have here? Another one. I don't know who this is. I have forgotten. I need to. Uh, I need to find my list. Do you know who this Isn't is? Isn't it Sharifi? Is it? That does seem right. Yes, I think you're correct. Again, Evan rate the shoes. Shoes, classics. The Tokyo Rom Fours. I think. I think you have those, don't you? I did. The whole, the uh, the soul split. <laughs> the toe split. Let me just say, I have had my uh, I've had my lay stungs for since 2018, and they nothing bad has happened to them. That's good because something if something ever does, I hope they don't. But if something ever does happen, you're not going to be able to find another pair. <laughs> no, yeah. So I'm unless you want to drop like 350 bucks, yeah, it's a great shoe. I have clients that are like, oh, what shoe is that? I want to buy it. It's like, well, good luck. Good luck finding it. All right, back to the Nobody ages bought here. it when they were manufacturing it. It's your go to go first. The man's time. hairline says 48. So I'm going <laughs> to cut that in half. I'm going to stick with my low guesses. I'm going to go with 24 again. 24. Is that it? You judge the hairline. You say, how old are you with that hairline normally outside of weightlifting? Cut it in half. Yes. I think, I think you hit this one. Because I remember at... Uh, worlds this past year seeing his age I was like what in the world like there is no way but I you're going 24 I'm gonna go 26 just give a little bit of a margin there <laughs> 20, 
22. 22? Oh, my God. He's 22. Oh, my, oh my oh goodness. My dude, let's, you know, he's... Sharifi is someone who watches the podcast quite a bit. He's a big fan. <coughs> he he messages, messages back every time. Good, good episode. Pretty, pretty frequently. <laughs> my guy, just commit to the Chrome Dome. Commit to just shaving it all. The Heisenberg off. look. Yeah. He yeah. would just, he just shaves that that little like side cap, trims the beard up. He could go Heisenberg on it. He could yeah. go Walter White. Yeah. He's got the head shape for it. Say his name. Sharifi. We don't say that anymore. We don't say that anymore. That's that phrase is banned. <laughs> what? All right, so I was right on that one. one. Offline. Four to three. Mm-hmm. All right. <laughs> Here we okay. go. There we go. Simon, happy as can be, Martyrosian. He Yo, says, I did it. Mom, look. This, so this guy, like leading into the last Olympic cycle. I think had like the craziest story ever where he was like, didn't he like commit vehicular like manslaughter? No. Martyrosian? I th- I'm pretty sure. Carlos Nassar did. So did S- Bodhi. Bodhi did a handful of years back from Canada. Santa yes, v. I remember that. I'm pretty sure Martyrosian <laughs> had an issue as well, but I'm pretty sure he wasn't guilty. It was like he hit someone with his car, and but it was like 100% their fault, and they died. And then he was like involved in like the Armenian Civil War or something. I think that's he like true. Hurt his, he hurt his knee moving like monuments. Like they were like, <laughs> like, like, like classic monuments. They were like, yo, who are our strong people? And Martyrosian's like, yo. I, I'll snatch I'm, it. <laughs> yeah, I'll snatch that fucking thing. And then he hurt his knee, I think it was the story. Didn't warm up properly. I think that one's true. Him participating in some sort of, like, military event, combative (laughs) event in Armenia. I think that one's true, because I do remember that coming up in the last squad. I don't remember the manslaughter thing. I know that... He also has one of my favorite weightlifting accomplishments ever, going from bar to 220 on clean and jerk, I think, (laughs) in five total lifts. (laughs) That's all you need. I'm Which surprised I think it took him five. It's like the, the most gangster thing ever. Should only take four. Bar, Bar 70. 70, 120, 170, 220. Session done. Let's go get Subway. <laughs> Sometimes, if you ever have a session that you can just make those four or five jumps to a heavy, that's a good session. Those days you that's feel good, your joints are lubed up. Me. Man. I remember one time right. I did that with deadlifts and hit a PR. Who guessed like first last lifts. time? Did I guess first last you time? You did. Okay, your turn. So he's shaving the pits. He's leaving the <laughs> chef's hair. I love it. He's shaving the arms. Too. He's big in manscaping. He he. It looks like he cuts the line with the singlet. Because you see a little bit of hair creeping out from under the shoulder yeah, straps there. He missed that. He missed that. He's he's been he's been pimping that manscaped ten percent off code. <laughs> I've, I've seen it over on his Instagram. It's it's every post hashtag manscaped. <laughs> but if he's manscaping, he's he's younger. Um, I don't think he's much older than Lollian, but he's not older than Gore. And Gore was what like twenty four, twenty five. Um, I'm gonna go twenty four. For I Mr. Think, Martyrosian. I, uh, I think he might be our youngest on this list. I think he's I think he's 22. Uh, yeah, I want to say he's 22. Right up there with Dang Sharifi? It. Dang it. What is that, 26 this year? <clears throat> yeah, makes him 26 this year. Yeah, Already 26. 26. 26. So he is another one. so far one of the older. Yeah. But yeah. looks young. He's taking quite it's, young. It's the Manscaped partnership, honestly. It's got to be. So, guys, we don't have a discount code. Go use Simon's instead. Mow that lawn. Yeah. <laughs> use his code Civil War Ten. <laughs> what? <laughs> Civil War Ten. <laughs> this oh, fella boy. is young. This fella looks young. This guy kind of like he he defies what our point is here. He looks very young. Yeah, I have no idea you who get, he is. Did you guess first on that last one? Yeah. Twenty three. Go twenty two. I don't know this guy's name. I feel like I've maybe only seen him once or twice. 
hit me. Oh, this is oh, yeah, he's Badani. Yeah, he eliminates the point of this. Oh, he's an old timer and he looks young. You're literally, but you got to sit this one out. You're making us look bad here. But <laughs> he's look, he's the wild card. Hey, look at that total that he hit though. That's nice. Nice, very nice. He's blazing up that total. Love it. Love to see it. How old is he? 94 makes him 28. He'll be 29, 29 this months. year. Yeah, 29 in June. Did you just take the lead? No, because you took that point. I think we're, what, 4-4? Four, four? Oh, yeah, you went younger. Yeah, no, it's it's 5-4 me. 5-4, okay. Was, yeah, he was the ninth one. <laughs> Team Korea. Um, Team Scream Rhea. Now, this is where it gets hard. Because you look at someone from Team Korea, you look at someone like Lee Sang, and you don't realize that he's like, I think like 30 or something. Until he's, he's so cute. Yeah, he's itty bitty. He's shredded so to the gills. Until Love he puts him. on a t-shirt and cools down, you don't realize that he's old. Um, for a weightlifter. Uh, Twenty-five. All right, I'm gonna I'm gonna say that I want to say I want to go older, but the acne makes me think. Yeah. Well, the acne can be the acne can be it can can be offset because you can look at him and be like oh he's got acne he must be young or he's got acne he's blasting egregious amounts of drugs so that's not the best indicator. Let's look at the shoes though. What do we see in the shoes? He's got those Addy stars. Yeah, so he's, he's he has to be on the older side, and not he appreciates appreciates culture. These not young bucks, they don't fucking these young bucks, they don't wear the Addy stars. They don't appreciate the, the heritage. ones that can afford them too, because the like, young Yo, bucks these are the Matty Rogers that are like, I didn't get credit for my Rom fours. No one buy Rom fours anymore. It's like, yo, Rom, the, the Romaleos haven't been good since the second one. You would know that if you weren't such a fucking boomer. Zoomer, whatever the <laughs> hell they call themselves. Fucking Zoomers. Fucking Zoomers. <clears throat> Man, those Addy stars. I'm gonna though, go. The true. I'm gonna. I'm gonna stick with it. I'm gonna go older. I'm gonna say 28. 25, 28. Let's see it. Yes. Six four. Okay. Six four. I think so. Oh, that's the score. I thought it, on here somewhere it said that he was <laughs> six foot four. I think. And I was like, you. He I don't probably think would that he be. is. I Supers actually is, cross the six foot mark. They do, which in weightlifting is is insane. It's a terrible trait. All right, next up, Wu Man Wu Man Wang. Wu Man Wang. Wang. Not the best name. Looks very young. He's got the hair. He looks like he just came out of like eleventh grade math class, and is going to lunch. <laughs> I did not say math because he's Asian. He just looks like a kid who's coming yeah, out. Yeah, that was a class. weird. Yeah, why didn't you say history or literature <laughs> or something like that? Why'd you go with math? Why'd you have math on your mind? He looks bored. <laughs> he looks unengaged. He looks unenthused. And I also he's always had on. lunch during math class. I had lunch during pre calc. So that was always my face coming out of class to go to lunch. Um, he also has shaved legs and shaved arms. He has a young complexion. He doesn't have really any acne. He has the hair that's I don't know like if those legs are shaved. I think the they look legs just might just be naturally hairless. The bottom halves. <laughs> He's like a sphinx. Like furry. <laughs> <laughs> naturally hairless. Um, <laughs> gosh, if this wasn't a senior competition, I would say he's like eighteen, but. You're right. If he was doing that, he'd be setting junior records. I'm going to go 23. Yeah, he's definitely he's definitely on the younger side. I look at the shins. They aren't like bat, like battered with scars from the bar over <laughs> yes. time. Look at the inside of his arm on the arm that we can see. Like that looks baby smooth. Yeah. Not, not weathered or anything like that. Handsome lad. Possibly shaved upper legs. Which is an interesting, but again, manscaped. They've got their hands and everything. Their their it's marketing perfectly. strategies are different in different countries. Korean marketing strategies are different than the others. Uh, what'd you say again? I said twenty three. I'm gonna go with. Eh, I'll 
I'll shoot a little higher. I'll go 25. 25. He can finally rent a car. Yes. 28, really? 28. Man. Oh, my goodness. Old timer. You're right. The inside of that arm looks like he hasn't done eight-hour arms yet. Right? Hey, he hasn't even, he hasn't even tried it. <laughs> Rest in peace. R.I.P. What is it now? Is it 7-4 now? Yeah. I don't know. How oh. many of these are we doing? 15? I don't think I can come back. Oh, no, I can. Can't I? You, you if can. I get every single one right here. Yeah, you just got to win out here. This Marcin. is an older fellow. No, this isn't Marcin. This is uh, no. this is the Albanian guy. I can't remember his name. Can't remember his name right now. But he is 31. He, you're going 31. I'm going to go 30. 33. Ah. Uh, I think you might beat me on this one. I think you might. Oh, yeah. oh my goodness. He's almost 40. <laughs> almost 40. All right. You're coming back. He's got that seven Eastern to... European complexion. Seven to five. Where the age actually shows. Oh, here we go. This is an old video or an old picture, isn't it? Very old. Yeah. Some of these were a little bit hard to find. It's crazy. These guys, like, they're just, like, not pictures of them. They, I mean, because they don't get, like, video. Now we're into the B session, so they don't really get video of the B session. What is this? Is oh, that... Wow. This is Ashgabat, wasn't it? Uh, yeah, I see the ASH up there. This might yeah. be Ash, which is like 2015. Right? This is real old. So <laughs> this this picture isn't even. So this picture is what seven seven eight years old. So no factor factor this that was, in here. This was the good year for Ilya. Um, if we're talking, he's looking like this seven eight years ago. He's got to be going on thirty. He's got to be twenty nine. I was gonna say thirty, so I'll go thirty. You go twenty nine. Boom! Let's go. You are just real. This is going to come down to the wire, guys. This is not planned. This is <laughs> we're gonna not planned. Make, we're going to make this happen. Yeah. <laughs> the mind got flipped <laughs> on. Oh, boy. Here we go. What is this guy's nickname? Hulk, they call him? Is this Hulk? Murakami? I believe so. Yeah, he's in... He's got... Yeah, he's got... He's Japan. Yeah, this, this is Hulk. Um, he's got great hair. Number one. First of no, all, he doesn't. Right? That's gel. <clears throat> that is a good pomade he's got in his hair. Yeah, but I'm saying it looks good. It's a it looks good great. look for him. I thought you said gray. It looks no, great. No, no, no. Great hair. Ah, yes, I agree. He's got a very good look going on right here. If he wasn't a weightlifter, he would be slinging investments from a 20-story office saying. building. Buy, sell, buy, sell. You'd look at me like, this guy's buying and selling? Jesus. <laughs> He's working take the it, options. Take it easy. He's doing both. This guy can do it all. He hops into a helicopter. You're like, that thing's not going to be able to take off. He's massive. Then he starts flapping and it goes. <laughs> um, 28. 31. Shit. 28. Oh, my gosh. Shit. Are we down to the last one? Shit. Did I just bring We're this back? actually down to the <laughs> last seven, one. Seven. <laughs> and the only way to settle this... Is with Mark Seam. <laughs> <laughs> the man who can squat like 750 pounds for sets of 10. Who and can't like, clean and drink like, more than dude. like 240. Yeah, yeah like, go go clean uh, 220. He's like, ah, I, I, I cannot do it. <laughs> <laughs> Us Estonians cannot do this. <laughs> we street press cannot clean. Um, gosh, he's been going. He was like... 30 something back in like 2015 when I was getting into CrossFit. Cause I remember watching a ton of his stuff on social media and seeing oh, him yeah. do these ridiculous things. And I was like, how old is he? Um, I'm going to go 36 for Mart. Oh man. I'm, I'm up against the wall here. I don't know. Do I go over that? Do I go under that? Uh, He's going to being like 24. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I'm going to go 22. <laughs> Uh, you went thir you went 36 are we gonna go prices right rules on this last one yes closest without going over I'm yeah i'm going go 36 with... i'm gonna go over i'm gonna go 30 i'm gonna go 37 final answer you're going 37 you sure about that yes yes 100 i know what you're trying to do you're trying to find it in my head but you can't because he's actually 38, but I'm going to be right here. 37 is my answer. And. Damn it. What the hell? He's young. 
No, 32? he's 33, 32, so we 32? both bust. Oh my god, I had such an early lead. I was so <laughs> strong through the middle. Both of us busted, though, so neither of us get it. Oh, nah, you were closest. We'll give it to you. You were closest. No, that's unfair. Okay, then who do you want to do <laughs> as our tiebreaker? <laughs> I have no idea. How? We'll go Seb. How old is Seb? Ooh. He's come up a few times. A good one. How old is Seb? I think Seb and I are the same age. I'm gonna go 31 for Seb. 31 for Seb? I think yeah. I think he just turned like 30. I'll go 30. Is this even Seb. public information? Can we even find? You can look it up. Seb Ostrovich birthday. Yeah, I know he made a post on Instagram for it the other day. His birthday? Or not the other day. It was a little while back. Yeah, I feel like this isn't something where it's just going to be like, Wikipedia, Seb is 31. Or we go Max. Max is like 90. <laughs> Max is like 45, isn't he? <laughs> This is like the timeline of everything that he's done. It looks like he, from t at 2013, he went to college. Went to college? Yeah, 2013. Whilst undergoing a sport and exercise science degree at Exeter, Seb trained daily with friends. He had introduced to the sport. So he's probably, yeah, he's about 30 then if he's. No, he's probably a little younger. 2012 because i started college and so that would make him 28 you didn't even guess you didn't even say anything i said 30 i said 30 you said 31 oh then we're stuck again because Fuck. we're both over <laughs> we let the people settle it okay who do you think won <clears throat> who was your favorite age i'm the one who said george syncrane earlier who, yeah <laughs> how old is george syncrane find a guy mr syncrane syncrane's like 28 i think that's Gabriel Syncrane. We don't know how old George <laughs> we don't know how old his brother George is. Know, yeah, we don't know who he is. We'll find him. He's like the fourth Jonas brother. He's like Frank. <laughs> Frankie. <laughs> Nobody knows. He's like 15, 14. We'll find out eventually. Next time. All right, guys. The Big Friday Podcast. Yeah, next episode of the Big Friday Podcast. We'll find out who George Syncrane is and how old he is and what his best total is. Uh, thanks for watching. We hope you enjoyed that half as much as we enjoyed it. Next week, we are going to hopefully have our good friends, Seb and Max, on the podcast. Fingers crossed. If not, uh, I'll get a fat head of both of them printed out. Seb, Max. and We'll, just we'll use 11 labscom do a deep yeah. fake of their answers. We'll pretend, uh, we'll pretend they're here with us. But next week, uh, which won't be the next week because I will be in the Dominican Republic watching, coaching Casey to a gold medal at whatever the hell competition Caribbean. The Emotions so, Resort. Yeah, at the Emotions <laughs> Resort with the Delpo. Your, your boy is going to be letting his emotions out. 15-minute um, couples massage, baby. On our next episode, we will be doing a very similar game. Um, but we are going to look at the sounds that weightlifters make. We are going to look at some all-time great lifts. We are going to isolate the sound from those. And we're going to see if we can guess who it is, what the lift was, and when it was performed. You can expect that to quickly descend into chaos. If you thought you know, <laughs> ages went poorly. Uh, Age of an audio clip? Yeah, even you're better. Really, you're really going to be in for a treat on this next one. Evan, is there anything you want to leave the people with before I say sayonara, suckas? Don't think so. Like, share. If you max out on Friday, share the Big Big Friday podcast, and we will protect you against your coach. Um, and if this post gets, what did you say? We're going to post up a clip of this podcast. Yeah, I don't remember. Something like that, right? Comments. If it gets like 20 comments, we'll give away a shirt every yeah, 20 comments. If it, gets, if it gets some comments, I'll pick one of you guys and I'll send you a shirt. I'll probably send you one of these gifted transformation challenge. I don't remember what it says on the back. It says something on the back that's cool and really fancy. It has to be. It's going to be dirty. It's going to be sweaty. 
Yeah, it's probably going to be, gonna be clean. by me. The stains <laughs> on it are not what you think they are. It's worse. Um, if it's too small, turn it into a crop top. If it's too big, turn it into a sleep shirt. Yeah. You don't get to choose the size. Because <laughs> whatever you get, whatever's what in the store get is what you get around here. But yeah, comment Bringus is a dingus, and I'll send you some stuff. Just tickle the algorithm for us. We would love that. We'll love you. Um, follow GBC. Evan is doing a great job posting Max out on Friday. Big Friday guidelines for you guys. So Big if Friday you protocol, are baby. stuck and you don't have any motivation of what you want to max out and how you want to max it out, uh, that account is your best friend on Fridays. We'll see you on the next episode where we will be guessing <laughs> lifting noises. <laughs> Gotta have the AO pigeon, Tomas Until Pigeon, fly across the screen with that noise again. <laughs> Until then, <laughs> no, it was a 70% still means 100% in our book. So peace out, friends. We love you. Big Friday.